I want to issue a challenge to all of you in the Bannerlord community, both on console and PC. This challenge will not only test your combat skills and game knowledge, but will force you to think outside the box to succeed. However, the vast majority of you will fail. Let's get into the challenge. We start a sandbox game, no family members allowed from the campaign mode. Pick whatever culture and starting options you want. However, I highly recommend taking Batania. Once in the game, travel to the nearest town and sell all of your gear. Buy enough items to make your dinar balance go to zero, and then discard the items that you purchased. We'll be starting with nothing. No food, weapons, clothes, or dinars. A huge shout out to Hase Lion for coming up with the rock bottom start. A link to his channel is in the description. The next step is easier to do on PC as there is a console command that allows us to declare war on all clans on the map, including minor factions. The command is campaign.startplayerversusworldwar with underscores between each word. Check the video linked in the description on how to use console commands if you're not sure how to. If you're on console, then you need to do it manually by going around the map and attacking everyone, then retreating to start the war. Peace is not allowed at any point. You're also not allowed to buy items from towns, villages, or caravans, which means all of your equipment and food must be obtained from looting and raiding. This next one's rough. You cannot hire regular troops, force recruits from villages, or convert regular troops as prisoners. The only troops that you're allowed to have are the ones that cannot be hired by regular means. This means bandit troops, mercenaries, village militia, peasants, caravan guards, and minor faction units. But again, you cannot upgrade the peasants to normal units, they have to stay as peasants. And finally, no smithing is allowed at any point in the campaign. Workshops are fine if and when you own a town, but good luck holding it with everyone being at war with you. Now you must go out into that cruel world and make your own way. Survive long enough to get your first weapon, convert a couple trash units to join you, and slowly expand your power into a formidable bandit kingdom. For those who have the guts, maybe you can even do a world conquest. Good luck. And finally, if you're on PC, there are a few more options if you want to spice it up even more. A fair warning, if you're more interested in a tougher challenge, I recommend sticking with what we already covered. But if you're tired of the base game and want a totally different experience, let's go over this massive mod list I've curated for this unique campaign. Starting with RBM, or Realistic Battle Mod, which will make combat much tougher. Especially with bandit units, which suffer from lower skill and bad armor compared to their regular unit counterparts. Adonai's Troop Changer is required to make Deray military work, which completely overhauls all troop trees in the game. True Armies of Calradia is great as well, however I find the bandit units to be better in Deray military. Uberi is a must-have for any bandit campaign as it adds a ton of new options to use with your roguery, as well as more ways to make money, cripple enemy clans from within, or even start rebellions in a town. Distinguished Service allows our bandit troops to promote to companions if they get enough kills in a single battle. Since we're at war with everyone on the map, it's better to promote from within. I highly recommend Character Reloader as well since I don't like having high-level OP companions to start with and much prefer to start them off at level 1 with garbage skills and this mod allows us to do that easily. Equip best item is great if you plan on promoting a ton of companions, making it easier to outfit a large number of companions with a single click. My Little Warband is perfect for this campaign. Once we start taking our own fiefs, we'll be creating our own custom bandit unit troop tree. Open Source Armory is great if you want more variety in the gear pool as it adds literally hundreds of armors and weapons. It's particularly good for a bandit campaign since we cannot buy anything and must loot for everything. Unlimited Cap unlocks the max companion limit, allowing us to convert as many companions as our party has room for. You might think having lots of companions is OP. And you're right. So I also added Death for All. This mod dramatically increases the death rate for all nobles and companions in the game, including your main character. The base death rate is about 2%, but with this mod, it goes as high as 50%. Here's a montage of me dying trying to get my campaign off the ground. It's brutal and will keep your companion numbers in check. Only the strongest and luckiest companions will survive, which will make for an amazing story at the end. I'm creating a new section on the Discord server in case anyone wants to give this challenge a shot. Feel free to post questions, screenshots, links to videos, etc. from your campaign. And if you want to see my attempt, click this video right here for episode 1. Good luck! And as always, a massive thanks to all the channel members and Patreon supporters. I don't take sponsorship money on this channel, so your donations make a huge difference for me and my family. So thank you.